If an object with the initial temperature T0 is placed in a thermal bath with the initial temperature Tm, the difference of temperature between the object and the environment changes exponentially in time until the object reaches the temperature of the heat bath. Part 1. Show that the equation for the temperature of the object as a function of time is T is equal to Tm plus T0 minus Tm times e to the power of minus kt for some constant k. 2. Explain why k is positive. 3. If an object with the initial temperature of 65 degrees centigrade is dropped into the sea water of temperature 5 degrees centigrade, what is the temperature after 20 minutes if k is equal to 0 0.054 per minute? Let's first discuss the physics behind the problem. A thermal bath or a heat bath is a huge source of energy which is so huge that adding uh, a small amount of heat would not change its temperature. For example, imagine the oceans. If you pour some hot water into the ocean, you don't expect the temperature of the ocean to change. The ocean, therefore, is considered as a thermal bath. Now, if an object of higher or lower temperature is brought to the ocean, the temperature of the object would change, but the temperature of the ocean would not change. Let's assume the temperature of the ocean is Tm standing for medium and let's say we bring an object which is cooler than the ocean let's say with the initial temperature T0 because it's the initial temperature is less than Tm I drew my line below Tm then based on the laws of physics the temperature of the object will rise very quickly to reach the temperature of the medium. In particular, it is very fast at the beginning. But as the object starts heating up, let's say it reaches T1, then this process of reaching Tm slows down. Let's say after it reaches to T2, then it will approach Tm still in a slower manner and then still in a slower manner and this process would take theoretically an infinite amount of time for the temperature T0 to reach Tm. If the object was higher in temperature than the ocean, let's say if the temperature of the ocean was Tm and the temperature, initial temperature of the object was T0, then based on the laws of physics the temperature of the object would drop so that the object would reach the same temperature as the environment. But this drop is very fast at the beginning and then the drop itself slows down and then slows down. But this process continues theoretically forever but of course practically for a certain amount of time until the object reaches the temperature of the environment. The fact that this is an exponential change can be seen uh, by the fact that uh, the drop is very fast at the beginning and then it slows down. This is a sign of an exponential decay. Not all the decays which follow this pattern would be exponential, but this in particular case, using mathematics, one can show that the decay is exponential. Now, one thing we have to be very careful about is that it is not the temperature T0 which goes under exponential decay. It is the difference of temperature between T0 and Tm, so I show it by this, which is T0 minus Tm, which goes under exponential decay. So let's say the initial temperature difference between 
the object and the environment is t naught minus t of the medium or the environment and then and let the system cool down for a while and then the difference of temperature at time t I'll show that by delta tf would be t at time t minus the temperature of the environment which hasn't changed because the environment in this case is the is a thermal bath it would be t minus tm now we know that delta ti decays exponentially to become delta tf in other words delta ti times e to the power of minus a constant times t becomes delta tf this is the definition of exponential decay so we have established this equation for the decay of the difference of temperature between the object and the environment we can now open up this equation we know that delta tf was the temperature of the object at time t minus the temperature of the medium which was tm that would equal delta ti which was the temperature of the object at the beginning minus the temperature of the medium at the beginning which is always the same times e to the power of minus k t where t is the time we can move tm to the other side of the equation and we find t is equal to tm plus t naught minus tm times e to the power of minus kt this is the equation we were looking for now as to why k must be positive we note that delta t initial the initial temperature difference between the object and the water always decreases to delta t final either if the object is hotter than the seawater or if it is cooler than the seawater in either case the difference of temperature would always decrease therefore we should have exponential decay and that is guaranteed if k is positive because then e to the power of minus kt would be always less than 1 and as t grows becomes smaller and smaller and an ensures an exponential decay in part C we are given with some numbers and asked to calculate the final temperature of an object we have dropped into the sea the initial temperature of the object is 65 degrees centigrade and the initial temperature of the medium which is the seawater is 5 degrees centigrade and the time is 20 minutes k is given to be 0 0.054 per minute. minute if we plug in these values into the equation that we found we would have that the final temperature or the temperature after 20 minutes is equal to 5 degrees plus 65 degrees minus 5 degrees times e to the power of minus k 0 0.054 times t which is 20 minutes we should pay attention that the units for k and t were compatible t was in minutes and k was in 1 over minutes we should pay attention that if for example um, time was given in seconds we would have to convert that into minutes or in k we would have to convert the minutes into seconds once we simplify we get 5 plus 60 e to the power of minus 1.08 which can be calculated to be approximately equal to 25.4 degrees centigrade this is the temperature of the object when thrown in this into the seawater after 20 minutes